All right, it's Wednesday and it is time to cook. First thing you want to do, scan the old QR code that's on the screen right now and that'll take you right to today's recipes. And today I'm doing some uh, unusual appetizers, so kind of unique appetizers that you can do for your Thanksgiving uh, tables. So I've got uh, a few things here. I want to start off with this herb, fresh herb a uh, goat cheese log, the, the log you can just buy right at the store. I've chopped up some dill and some parsley, and I'm just gonna, you know, run this around in the fresh herbs, chop them up really nice and fine, cover it up completely. This could not be an easier dish, and when, you know, you dig into it and put it on a cracker, uh, it is just filled with uh, fresh, fresh and delicious foods. And look how nice it looks when you put it out on the table here with some lovely little crackers. Next up, I've got the uh, French onion meatballs. A lot of people do the you know grape jelly and meatballs and you throw it in a crock pot. This is a little different. Uh, I've already started the mixture here because we were running out of time. But it's a pound of ground beef. It's this good old Lipton onion soup mix that uh, gets mixed into it as well with some panko breadcrumbs with some uh, salt and pepper and some herb du Provence, which really gives it a fantastic taste. And I just take my little cookie scooper here and I make some meatballs with them. And all I'm really doing here, I'm not cooking them all the way through, I'm just browning them. And then those are gonna go into the good old crock pot with a can of Campbell's French onion soup with some beef broth a little more of this Herbe de Provence. I'm telling you, that really gives this an amazing flavor. And then the meatballs go into the broth. I've obviously got quite a few more here that I'm gonna be making, but that goes into the crock pot, slow cooker, with some grated Gruyere or Swiss cheese. And then just let that baby sit in this slow cooker for a couple of hours and the cheese and the French onions. There's caramelized onions in here also, by the way. Uh, so that's all just gonna sit together. And when that is done, that is this beautiful dish right here that's so simple and easy to serve. Now finally, I've got one more, and this is one of my favorites. I've sauteed some vegetables, some green peppers, some red bell peppers, some pea pods, uh, some onions and some shrimp. Super fast to stir fry them all. Uh, those then, I'm gonna mix with this amazing sweet chili sauce. I don't wanna overcook the shrimp, so I'm gonna get them out of the water that the shrimp gives off. Then you have, here you have this fantastic shrimp. This amazing chili sauce is gonna go in. You can find this in the Asian section of any grocery store. One of my favorite sauces there is. It's sweet, it's spicy, and it's sticky. That's the main thing, because also going into this are some chopped walnuts. And all this just gets a really nice mix let it sit for a while so it can all kind of ruminate together. And when we're done with that, here it is. I knew I made some a little earlier. Here is my sweet and spicy uh, shrimp with walnuts. These three are so delicious and so easy to make uh, that you can do before your Thanksgiving dinner. We've got these recipes posted up when you scan that QR code that's on your screen. You can do it old school by going to WGNTV.com slash Dean Cooks, or we can automatically send these to you every week. All just you have to do is text the word cooks to 97999 to get all the weekly recipes every time. Next week, we'll get into some Thanksgiving side dishes and desserts as well. And we'll be right back after this.